guys take james here in this video i will be showing you guys how to use the download enabler plugin on your ps vita so if you're wondering what this is basically when you open the browser and you try to download something so this could literally be anything like a zip file um, a vpk file maybe you just want to get like a psp game or something like that if you try and download it it will actually give you an error so if i try and download this vpk right now just tap download vpk it's going to give me an error saying, cannot download using this system, C2132400. So basically this is a problem because you can only actually download pictures um, using the PS Vita. It only lets you download image files, um, but there is actually a plugin you can get so you can download literally anything on the internet. So I was just on VitaDB right now. Um, I was just trying to download a VPK of the Hex Gem game. So basically what we need to do to get this plugin is just close out of your browser if you've got it open you want to go ahead and you want to open up VitaShell just tap on start wait for VitaShell to load and then when it loads up press select connect to your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next so when you get on your computer there will be a link in the description so you can download the plugin and um, here it is guys download enabler last updated in July but it works perfectly fine so all you want to do is just scroll down and we're looking for the download underscore enabler dot suprx just click on this and then it will begin downloading so once that has finished downloading you want to go to your downloads folder and just find it. So here you go, here is mine. And what we're gonna do is just drag and drop this to the root of our PS Vita. And once it is copied across, that is literally it for the PC. We can now go back onto our PS Vita and I'll show you guys how to install it and get it working. Okay guys, so once we're back off the PC, press circle to close out that. Let's go onto the UXO, scroll all the way down and let's find the plugin we copied across. So here it is, download enabler, press triangle and then go to copy and press on X. Go up to the tie folder. Now either choose your URO or UXO one. Um, my um, config file is in my UXO tie folder, so I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to go inside, as you can see, here is config.txt. I'm going to press triangle at the top and paste. This is just going to paste in my plugin, and there it is. Now I'm just going to open up config.txt, scroll all the way down, and we're looking for um, main right here. So press the right on the D-pad and it's going to give you a new section. So in that new section, this is what exactly what you want to type in. Um, without the ones, I just put the ones in so I could like edit it a bit. So let me just delete those. So that is exactly what you need, UXO or URO, depending on where your config.txt is, dot dot TAI slash download underscore enabler dot SU PRX. So that is literally all you need to enter. Once you've entered that, you need to just tap on the black arrow down here. Press circle. It will ask you to save. Press X for yes. Press circle to go all the way back to the main menu. Now we need to press the home button and just close out of Vita Shell. So what we're going to do now, hold the power button just for a few seconds. Now go to power off. Give your PS Vita a couple of seconds just to completely shut down. Wait for the blue light to stop flashing. Now we can just go ahead and power it back on. So now we just need to launch up our HN Core custom firmware real quick. Unless you've got it permanent of course, I haven't so I'm just going to start this. Now what we can do is try out the internet browser. So we're going to go back, tap on it, tap on start. Obviously go to a website of your choice with the file you want to download. I chose to download this VPK file. So let's try now and see what happens. So before we got that error, let's scroll all the way down and then just tap on download VPK. This time it's going to bypass the error and it's going to give us this screen. So it's going to allow us to download it and it's 15 megabytes. We're just going to tap on save. Now it does say photos. It does not save to your photos by the way. But just tap on save. And now it's going to start downloading. So you can actually just go to the home screen, tap up here, and you'll see it starts downloading just like an actual um, PlayStation Vita game would. And once it's finished downloading, ignore this menu, close out of it. We need to go back and open up VitaShell because what we need to do is find the downloads folder on our UXO. So let's go to the UXO right here and we're looking for download. 
here it is, press X, and as you can see, I did download one earlier, but here it is, hexgem.vpk, um, you can install this without any problems, so let's just do it, there you go, now it's going to start installing, so yeah, the download enabler is actually really cool, this is a good way to get VPKs from random websites, and just install them without actually having to plug your PS Vita into your PC every time, so let's just give this a couple of seconds to install, and then once it's installed, um, it's basically just a normal VPK, it will play uh, just like normal. So let's just close out, let me just find it somewhere on my home screen, here it is, Hexgem, and you can just start it up. So that is pretty much it for this video, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, um, and I will see you guys in the next one.